Ellison Barber is with the president, who is in D.C. as well. He's up in New Jersey. Hi, Ellison. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Hey, Leland. So when President Trump announced that delay, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said it was welcome news, but she also said time is needed for comprehensive immigration reform. President Trump, though, says those raids will be coming soon. Well, I don't call them raids. I say they came in illegally and we're bringing them out legally. These are people where we have the papers, we've gone through the court system. They'll be starting fairly soon, but I don't call them raids. We're removing people that have come in, all of these people over the years that have come in illegally, we are removing them and bringing them back to their country. Speaker Pelosi reportedly called the president last month to express her concerns about the raids. Then came the delay. President Trump said he delayed the deportations for two weeks to see if Democrats and Republicans could get together and work out a solution to close what he called the asylum and loophole problems. If they failed to do that, the president said deportations would begin. The operation known as Family Op was set to take place in at least 10 major U.S. cities, targeting some 2,000 undocumented families. Democrats say the raids are immoral and bad for the United States. Well, I think there will still be some need for internal enforcement against someone who poses a violent risk to our communities. Um, there's no need to break up families uh, uh, deporting people who pose no serious violent threats to us. The people targeted are said to all have uh, removal orders. Many of them reportedly have those because of missed court dates.